I'm going to show you how you can find the value of x. So first off, I'm going to draw a line here. This red line here is the key. If we knew, can find out the length of this red line, then we can then find the length of x because this is a right triangle. First though, in order to find the length of this red line, we are going to focus on this triangle instead. And notice that this side length of this triangle is 12. What is the side length of this side? It's nine. So I'm just gonna draw this right triangle over here on the right. And now we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of that red side. So the Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So the a and the b are the two legs that find, that create that right angle. So this is our nine squared, and this is 12 squared. And then the c is that hypotenuse across from that right angle. That's the side that we're trying to find. So if we simplify this by squaring nine squared and 12 squared and adding them together, now to find out what c squared is, I'm gonna take the square root, because opposite of squaring is square root, and I see that c is 15. So what we just found out is the length of this red side is 15. So that's what you had gotten as your answer, but we're not done. They don't wanna know the length of that red line. They wanna know what the length of the x, the line labeled x is. So there's a second step. If we know now that the length of this side is 15, we can now focus on another, another triangle here. We can look at this triangle, this right triangle to find the length of x because we know this is 15. Do you see what this side length is? This is eight. So if we look at this right triangle, we can find the length of x. So I'm just gonna sketch it over here on the right. Then again, you can use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Substitute in your legs, the two sides that make that right angle. And then we don't know what the hypotenuse is, that side length across from the right angle. And then you can simplify the left side, take the square root, and see what x is. So why don't you finish that up and tell me what x equals.